Okay, so this week we're going to be drawing the aluminum derby car. And for this, uh, we have already drawn this earlier in the semester, so we're just going to work off of that again. So the, uh, the derby car, again, we've already got it drawn. You've already got your uh, stock prep. Uh, you know, your first op where you're drilling holes and, and facing it and all that good stuff. And then, of course, you have your side holes. Uh, you're going to have two setups for your side holes. You're going to have a left and a right. Um, I did not do that on mine. Um, I, I, I just, because uh, I didn't need to do both left and right to show you in the video. All right. Um, but to start off, we're going to go ahead and save a copy of this. All right. So I'm going to go. Once you open this up, we're just going to go save as, we're going to put it in the same folder, and I'm, I'm going to name this Demo Derby Car Ugly and Slow, all right? Now, I'm naming this one Ugly and Slow because we are going to intentionally make this thing ugly and slow, all right, because I don't want anybody just to follow along with what I'm doing in this video and end up making a car exactly like what I designed. All right, that, that's not what we're after here. Uh, you're going to be watching this video to learn the concepts of making a derby car. You're going you're gonna, to um, learn from this video and then you're going to apply that to your own design. Okay, so you're not just following this along blindly, you know, clicking along with me. All right, so nobody is going to make a car that looks like this, okay? Um, th but this car is going to have all the, the, the ideas that you need to produce your own car. Um, so a couple things I want to I wanna point out real quick. Um, let's see here. So this is the drawing that we prepped everything to. All right, when we when we drew this infusion, we prepped it to this print. But I want you to notice something. This right here is a 1.75 minimum dimension. Okay, that is minimum. All this other stuff, like this, you know, where these holes are positioned on this block, um, none of that really matters as long as they're, the you know as. It, that, this dimension doesn't matter as long as this one's good. And as long as this one's good and this one's good, then, then you know, it, it will fit on the fixture. So, you know, we've got some reference dimensions, but just understand that the reference dimensions are um, not critical. All right, we're not going to be checking them, any of that stuff, but, but everything else. Uh, if it's not in parentheses, obviously that needs to be uh, correct. All right, so... We've got the 1.75 minimum here. And then if you go to the uh, rules and regulations, the overall length of the assembled car shall not exceed seven inches. The overall width of the assembled car shall not exceed 2.75. That is with the wheels, that is with everything. All right, and then the overall height of the assembled car should, shall not exceed 2.5 inches, okay? And that's after you put the wheels on it, that's, that's after everything. I mean, when you've got a turnkey deal, um, it, it cannot exceed these dimensions, okay? Um, so, as long as we adhere to this print, then, then we're going to be just fine, okay? Um, no, again, this is a minimum dimension. No, the maximum is going to be the width of our stock, and our stock is a two-by-two uh, square of material and they are sold I think seven and an eighth all right so um, you may want to get your block and check that it may be seven and a quarter but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's seven and an eighth all right so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna modify my model a little bit and I'm gonna make this 1.875 all right so again the biggest that it can be is two inches the smallest it can be is 1.75 so I'm gonna split it right down the middle Okay, so I'm going to go right back to design, and I'm going to edit this first sketch. I'm going to make this 1.875, and as long as you drew it correctly, everything will update itself. Okay, 
There's, there's no need to go back and redo this sketch, um, you know, that, because it was all drawn correctly. Right? And we told it that we wanted everything based on the center, so it's going to update. You know, if we had stuff to mention from the sides and all this other stuff, you know, didn't follow proper uh, CAD etiquette, then, then, yeah, we would have to go back and rework pretty much the entire model. But we drew it correctly, so we don't need to do that. Now, we've already got everything drawn, okay? We, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, we've got, already got everything cammed, so... Get rid of this, jump over here to manufacture. So everything is going to show red, which just means the code needs to be regenerated because I changed the model and it just simply needs to be regenerated. So I'm going to right click and generate that. Okay. So everything is is good now, right? Um, you know, we, we told it in our setup, edit that, we told it that our stock was seven and a quarter by two by two. So it knows how much material it needs to cut off. Okay. And then obviously this over here, this is still good. We just need to uh, generate that again. Okay. And then, you know, of course, you would need to do the same thing on your third op. Um, now, we're going to jump right back over here to design. And again, we are building this thing to be ugly and slow. I, again, I, I don't want anybody to copy this design or anything else. All right. um, now, there's, there's nothing in the rules. There's nothing on the print or anything that dictates which side is front and which side is back. So you can do that however you want to do it. If you want this to be the front and this to be the back, then by all means you do that. All right, that there's there's nothing that, that, that dictates that. So what I'm gonna do is again, I don't know how everybody's car is gonna look. So I, I, I can't tell you exactly how to draw it. Okay? That that's gonna that's gonna fall on you. That's part of the assignment. But I'm just going to draw this myself the way, you know, I've got an idea in my head, so I'm just going to kind of chunk it up here and, uh, and see where it goes, and you can just kind of follow along and, and hopefully pick up on some concepts. Um, so for me, again, sticking with, the, uh, sticking with the whole ugly and slow deal, I'm going to make this my front, okay? So I'm going to open up a sketch on this surface, and I'm just going to go with a line, all right? And I'm going to start down here. I'm gonna draw a line up. And then I'm gonna draw just like that. And we'll have a little flat surface. We're gonna go down, back up, something like that. Real ugly. All right, and I'm just going to pan around and make sure I'm not going to hit any screws or anything because obviously if I would have drawn this like that, then I would end up, you know, this is what I'm going to keep, this is what I'm going to get rid of, then I would end up cutting a bunch of stuff out. All right, I would end up cutting that hole out, these holes, half that pin. All right, not, that would not be good. So... Now we're gonna start dimensioning it, all right? So right here, I'm gonna dimension this to 250, which is already 250, so we're good. Got lucky there, gonna dimension this to 250 as well. So my, my car is going to be smaller than, my, than even my stock prep, okay? And then I'm going to dimension from here to here. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break that constraint Come up, and I'm gonna make that a straight line down. I'm going to dimension that at 0.5. And from here to here, I'm just 
just make that 0.375. Roll around, make sure I'm not going to hit anything. We look good. Okay, so then I'm just going to start uh, putting my dimensions and things in. So let's make this angle here. Uh, let's make that, you know, 20 degrees. Okay, so if, if we wanted that to be 20 degrees, if you want it to read straight up 20 degrees, then you would need to do this. You would need to draw a line, make it horizontal, it's already horizontal, I'm going to make it construction, and then I'm going to dimension it like this, 20 degrees. Or if you didn't want to do that, then you can always just dimension from here to here and make it 90 plus 20, which would be 110. All right. Then we need a length here. And all my all the lines that are constrained that are good are black. Um, but all the lines that need to be constrained are blue. So I'm going to dimension from here to here. I'll make that bad boy 1.25, whatever. From here to the front of the car, we'll make that 3.5. Five. If you can't tell, I'm just kind of winging these dimensions. Four inches. All right, we're going to make this 0.5. And then from this same line to here, we'll make that, um, you know, 15 degrees. Okay. So that that's, you know, ballpark what I want. So I'm going to click E for extrude. And I'm going to click what I want to cut away. And then simply cut that away. All right. Now, um, another thing that I want to do, I want to do some little cutouts on the bottom. So I'm going to sketch go with a line, make sure I'm not going to hit anything. Something like that. And then let's start dimensioning that. So from here to here, we'll just go two inches on that. From here to here, we'll go 2.5 on that one. We'll make this 0.5. Okay, so we got a little little cut out there. And then I'm going to draw a line just like this. I'm going to make it construction. And then we're going to mirror. Alright, so there's no need in me drawing this on both sides. Uh, the part is is like going to be a perfect mirror of itself. So I'm just going to for me, I've got M set as a shortcut for mirror, so I can just click M. Or you can go up here to modify, not modify, create and mirror. And I'm going to select the objects that I want to mirror, which is going to be this line, this line. And then I'm going to select the line that I want to mirror about, which is going to be that one. And then OK. Then E for extrude, select the two surfaces, cut them out, okay, something like that. All right, and just, uh, just you know, to, to kind of jazz it up a little bit, let's put a, uh, let's put a pocket on the bottom. So I'm going to sketch here again, I'm going to go uh, with a rectangle. I'm going to go center rectangle. I'm just going to drop a pocket like that. Just make that thing half inch wide and two inches long. And let's cut that in, you know, half inch. Went the wrong way. 
to a negative 0.5. Change out the cut. So now we got us a little pocket on the bottom, whatever. Okay. Like we may have a little something going on here. Little little area that's gonna that's gonna break through. See, it's just starting to kind of shade through. So I'm gonna go back and edit this pocket. And we'll only go 375 deep. So now that's uh that's not there. So I lowered I lowered that pocket a little bit. Okay. Now, when you look at this, um, this should look non-machinable to you. All right. This this part is certainly not machinable in, 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 uh, in the equipment that we have. So what I mean by that is with the cutters that we have, um, you're going to leave radii in the corners. So, you know, a perfect example is this pocket. You know, how would we machine this pocket? Uh, you know, you, you can't drop an end mill down in there and cut a square corner. So we will do some fillets. that and then I'm just going to make those fillets 0.2 all right so if I do a 0.2 fillet that means that I can get in there with a 3 8 end mill or a quarter inch end mill or something like that I cannot get in there with a half inch end mill okay and okay All right, the next thing we've got to do is add some, some different fillets in the different corners. Now, my plan is to machine this first from this side and go down as deep as we can. So I know I'm going to need a fillet here, here. Now, you don't necessarily need fillets on external corners, but it's normally a good idea to put them on, especially if you're going to be handling the car, you know, you, you, you want it to not have these sharp edges. All right. So I'm going to, I, I can just click F for fillet, but you may have to go to the modify tool. So I'm going to click there and there. And for this pocket or for this radius, we're going to have to go fairly deep. So if I was to put like, let's just say an 080 radius in there, that means that my cutter would have to be smaller than 160 thousandths, okay? So I would have to use more than likely an eighth inch end mill, all right? And you are not going to find an eighth inch end mill with that much flute length in this shop, okay? So you're gonna have to have that in mind when you're designing the car is the tooling that you have available to you. So I'm gonna set that to uh, 260 which means we can get in there with a half inch cutter. All right, no, theoretically a 250 radius would, would be able to allow us to get in there with a, a half inch cutter, but I'm just gonna go 260 to give us, give us a little extra room, okay? Okay, so now we have the fillet zone here, we'll be able to walk all the way around this part from this point if we want to. Um, now, one thing that's worth pointing out is these sharp corners here, here, probably even here, but a lot of these sharp corners, you're gonna have to file. Uh, you know, they're, they're gonna come out really sharp. They're gonna have a burr on them. So what I normally like to do if you have the ability is to Put fillets on those and they can be as, as you know if if it can't be that big like if it's not a feature then you can always put you know something like a five thousandths on it you know some something like that 
um, just kind of like an edge break, but then you can always put, you know, a bigger fillet on it. And I tell you, just just for this one, just to uh, just to keep it all, I'm gonna cancel out of that and kind of go through that one more time. So fill it, and let's just pick all these external corners. Just like that. And let's make them all, you know, let's see what happens at 250. So at 250 thousandths, you're left with something like that. If we go 125, you're left with something like that. That doesn't really matter for what we're doing. So we'll just leave it just like that. Okay. And then Obviously, we're going to need something right here because we're going to cut this with a ball nose. All right, so we're going to walk around this part, do all this cutting, cut the pocket, all that stuff, flip it over, do the side holes, and then we're going to put it in the fixture, and we're going to hold it just like this, right, well, just like this, rather, to where all this is pointing up. So we need to put a fillet down in here. So I'm going to click F for fillet. And let's go ahead and fillet all of these. Well, actually, we don't have to do this one. All right, but we certainly need to do this one. So, you know, if, if we know we're going to be using a, um, you know, 3 8 end mill, then Obviously, we, we can't do a fillet like this because then our cutter would not be able to get down in there. All right, so, you know, if you just want to go like a 250 or something, okay? All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and do some other fillets. I'm going to go this, this, and here. We'll go ahead and make those like a 0.5. All right, just kind of give it a nice rounded, okay? And I'll tell you what, that, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I want to do all right now. I can, I can always go in and do, um, you know, fillets own all that, you know, like do a 0.125 or something. Um, you can always do that, but, um, but I say just to kind of keep it simple, and, and just, you know, to the point, let's just stick it just like this. So our ugly and slow car is done for the most part. So we need to check the weight. All right, now for the weight, we're going to go, I'm gonna right click over here, physical material. Gotta wait for it. Metal. We're using 6061 uh, T6. Okay. So cold form or hot form, that shouldn't matter. So I'm gonna drag this. I'm gonna click it and drag it over and drop it on my workpiece. Okay, so that is my physical material now. All right, so from here, I can right click and go properties. And I am at 12.5665 ounces. Now, you need to do some math and figure out what your wheels are gonna weigh. You need to weigh your axles. You need to weigh all that stuff and just understand that you cannot exceed 14 ounces. So if we machined this car exactly like this and it came out at 12.5655 ounces, all right? Then if our wheels weighed a half ounce each and our axles weighed, you know, whatever, you know, let, let's not even count the axles right now. So we would have two ounces of wheels 
which would put us over the limit. So this car is heavy, okay? So in that case, what I would wanna do is come in here and, you know, remove some material somewhere, okay? So let's just uh, tell you what, let's go here and I'm just going to do a line actually opened up on the wrong surface. I'm going to sketch on here. I'm going to middle a big stupid looking flat here. Okay. Going to dimension this at, let's just say 0.5. And then let's go from here to here would be 0.375 whatever all right going to cut that away again we're shooting for stupid and ugly here right ugly and slow rather I'm gonna go ahead and add a fillet here and here you know something small no 50 All right, so now save that. Go over here and look at our properties. Now I'm at 11.55 ounces. All right, that, that may be exactly what you're shooting for, okay? So whatever, whatever that is, you know, again, you need, to, you need to calculate all this stuff. You need to figure out what your car, uh, what your wheels are gonna weigh, what your axles are gonna weigh, um, you know, if you're going to paint it, um, then you need to account for the uh, weight of the paint. You need to account for all this stuff because the car, uh, before race day, we are going to put it on a scale and it cannot exceed 14 ounces. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to kind of roll with this, uh, with this goofy looking ride right here and we'll, uh, we'll see where this takes us. All right, so this car is manufacturable, all right, no, using normal traditional uh, machining methods. Uh, what we're going to do is in the first stop, we will drill and tap these holes, all right, ream these holes, and we'll actually walk around and cut all the way around this car in, in the first operation. And then the second op, we'll stand it up. We will punch these holes. Third operation, punch those holes. And the fourth operation, we will stand it up and we will remove all of the extra material. We will do some, a little bit of contouring. We'll, you know, obviously cut this and then we'll do some 3D milling on it. So this car, it, this car is manufacturable. It is, um, Every, everything should be good, all right? Now, one thing that I do want to caution you on is, uh, is this. So I'm gonna go to properties, and if you look, I am at 7.4067 cubic inches, okay? All right, and I'm gonna pull up a formula real quick. Okay, so I just went to Google and just typed in uh, 6061 uh, T6511, which is just the temper uh, weight cubic inch. So obviously the results come back. You know, you get a couple of different things. Um, this one, I'm just going to grab this one. And it has all of the different weights of aluminum, right? Um, so... This is 6061, which is by far the most common aluminum. It is 0.27, I'm sorry, 2.7 um, grams per cubic centimeter. All right, it is uh, 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. And you got all this, this other metric, all right? So right here is the one I'm concerned about, 0.09. 75 that's the weight per cubic inch all right so right here this was my weight of my car 
I'm sorry, the volume of my car. And I got that right here, 7.4067 cubic inches. And this was 0 0.0975 pounds per cubic inch. Okay, so then I'm simply going to go 7.4067 times 0.0975 equals, and I'm going to just key that in my calculator real quick. So I've got 0.722. One five three two five. All right, just go ahead and carry it all the way out there. But this is in pounds. Okay, so we need to convert that to ounces. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either you can either convert fourteen ounces to pounds, or you can convert this to ounces. All right. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy that, go right over here to Google. So we are at 11.554452. Okay, so I'll come right back over here to my Okay. So this number right here 11.554452, we're going to go double check fusion. It's a little bit different. Not much, but something. All right, so uh, I would want you guys to double check this math because this is, uh, this is one of the more critical dimensions on here. No, if you want to make a car that weighs one ounce, you can make a car that weighs one ounce. All right, I'm not going to tell you guys how to design your car. I'm not going to tell you... Um, you know, the, the, the tips behind this because we want you guys researching it and thinking about it and figuring it out on your own. Um, but, you know, this, this is just kind of where this, this weight landed is 11.5596. So if, if each one of my wheels, let's just say 0.5 ounces, okay? And then let's just say that the axles weigh, and I cannot type, you know, 0 0.05 ounces. Okay. So obviously this is going to be four ounces total. Obviously this would be 0 0.2 ounces total. And I cannot, that's going to be two. That's more like it. So we would take this number, add two, and then add 0.2, and that should give us um, our total weight, okay? So 11.554452 plus 2.2 would equal to, equal. come on. 2.2 equals, would that be 13.754452, something like that. So that, that should be our total weight right there, okay? If everything is machined exactly to this model, if your wheels come out exactly to the model and you've got all this other stuff right, um, then this, this should be fairly accurate, all right? This is a good way to estimate it. Now, obviously, when you put it on a scale, that's going to be your, your final, you know, check. But just make sure that you do not go overweight because if you do, if you do go overweight, you will be disqualified and, uh, and it will not be, not be fun for you, okay? So go ahead and save all this. That's going to be the one that we, uh, that we work with uh, while I show you the cam. It's, uh, again, Nobody is going to make this exact car, but this has all the concepts that we want to teach you. Okay, so there it is, ugly and slow. 
Um, one thing that we are missing is we need uh, some engraving on here. And I'm going to shoot that in the next video when we do the, um, the cam. All right, so there it is.